Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to cover how to compare a list versus a list. So let's say in your database, we've got a, uh, a table. Yeah, we're just doing, this is a random example. Uh, and we've got a list of fields, a list of texts, for example. And you've got a dashboard where you'd like to filter based on a list of texts as well. Okay. So it could be text, option set, anything, it doesn't matter. So we've got choice one, two, choice two, three, one, four, and we'd like to filter based on multiple of them. And we'd also like the empty state to work as well. And that's like the, there's lots of tutorials out there on how to set the filters up, but I haven't seen much on how to set the empty state easily uh, yet. So I'm just gonna give a quick walkthrough of what you're looking for is, an advanced filter. So you're going to do search for whatever table you have thing you have, add the filtered here. And within filtered, you're looking for advanced. All right. And here, these new experimental features with brackets is what makes it easy, actually. So the first step to do would be, OK, I'm going to pick my multi drop down and I'm going to take its value. I'm going to intersect it with a uh, intersect with the tables uh, list of texts value and the count should be greater than zero. So this part's fine. Now the challenge that happens with this is that you the uh, until there's something in the multi drop down, you don't see anything. OK, so if the moment I put something in the drop down, that intersection works. So at the moment if with with blank with blank, it's intersecting nothing and the count becomes zero and this whole advanced value becomes zero and it doesn't show anything. And ignore empty constraint doesn't really work in this one because it's actually zero. It's not just a empty constraint. So ignore empty constraint doesn't work. So what we need to do here is uh, we go for or and or is multi drop down value count is zero. So what this will do that if the multi drop down values count is zero, the result of this whole expression will be one. So whatever you search for will still display. And now the next bit is that then everything's going to display uh, all the time, which is also not what we want to do. So it's like, okay, choice three, choice four. So multi drop down value count is zero. So this bracket expression is one or doesn't matter what happened there. Okay. So we see everything. Okay. Now, if the count is not zero. So this expression becomes zero or we're looking more at this expression and multi drop down value a intersect with this ASCII table count greater than zero. So I hope this was useful and uh, it's really kind of handy on a list comparison list, but also having an empty state as well. All right. Thanks. Bye.